Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the second season of the official Thai League English podcast. And uh, you're here with your same host, Stephanie Adair. And today I'm here with Lorenzo Fofis. Hi guys. Pleasure to be here. So he's from the competitions department of Thai League. And today we're going to talk about what has been really a topic that's been really hot with uh, the fans, online fans, and I've been getting like uh, tweets all day about this. So we're gonna talk about postponing the league, which we've started on the 3rd of March, and it'll be until the 17th of April, which is gonna be with the, uh, accordance with the government policy in pre preventing to, to prevent the spread of the COVID-19. So. I really want to talk about how you you guys uh, made this really hard decision. So I think we need to like understand the situation first. How we came with this decision? What are the process that has been taken into account before the official announcement has been made? So um, I think first of all, the COVID nineteen situation is is not only affecting the Thai league. Uh, I think we can take it. The example from the European leagues, such as like uh, Italy, Italy, Syria, yes. even the UEFA Champions League that is going to be played behind closed doors. Um, and I think uh, we're moving into Asia where the situation is a little bit worse, I think. So many countries affected, um, China, Korea Republic, Japan in the east, and there's uh, UAE, uh, Iran in the west also affected. Yes. So. Most of the leagues are already postponed. If we take a look at uh, what happened in China, what happened in Japan and Korea, I think um, there's a trend going on on this. And um, uh, as well as uh, Iran also recently announced the postponement of the domestic leagues. And Indonesia just announced the cancellation of some matches in the weekend. Uh, okay. So I think the, the trend is going towards where uh, the football bodies doesn't really want to take a risk of getting the players, uh, the coaches, um, let alone the fans, uh, be affected with the COVID-19 for attending football matches. Because obviously football shouldn't be used as a tool to, to um, spread the virus. Yes. And I don't think that anyone wants to take that risk into the, their own hands. Um, so I think when we talk about the global trend of how they're handling things. Um, I don't really see uh, any other uh, practical solutions for, for us to, to, to do uh, unless um, play behind closed doors matches or even uh, postponing the, the league itself. So um, we talked about the global scale of the trend, but let, let's maybe focus on the Asian yes. region. So before we come to coming uh, to Thailand. So uh, I guess uh, football fans who have been following the, the Thai League news or the AFC Champions League news also have heard that there's an um, announcement made earlier this week by the AFC to postpone uh, some of the group stage matches of the AFC Champions League. Uh, we have uh, yes. Sing Chen Rai United yeah. playing. And that matches is also postponed to um, uh, the one they're going to play in Australia. Was uh, yes, so uh, some of the matches have been postponed, uh, including the one that they were supposed to travel to to Korea against uh, FC yes. Seoul. And um, uh, basically, all the matches from the match day three, four, five, and six have announced postponement by by the AFC. So that's only the club scale, but um, I think more importantly also is the national team matches that um, FIFA and AFC had made a co-statement yesterday that mm -hmm. uh, official uh, confirmation will be uh, will be released early, uh, within this weekend whether the World Cup qualifier matches in, in March and June will be postponed to October or November. Um, there was a meeting, emergency meeting on Monday by AFC inviting all the East region member associations to voice their opinions of how they think whether they are ready or they're capable to host the matches, uh, especially the World Cup matches with these yeah. circumstances. And I think there was a consensus or agreement between the member associations to uh, postpone the matches. 
and I think AFC has also discussed with FIFA on this, taking into consideration, of course, the safety and well-being of the players and the fans and, and, and the football event as a whole. So uh, uh, I'm hearing that on this Saturday there will be official confirmation, but I think most of the countries are already more or less aware that it might be postponed to, to other windows in, in October and, and November later this year. So I think when, when we look at the uh, regional scale, there's so many postponement, there's so many uh, matches that are being cancelled. Yes. And, and I think um, what Thai League and FAT has been doing is uh, we, we are not designing this uh, just like with, uh, with, with yeah. one guy decision. So uh, we, are, we had called a meeting with all the clubs from T1 to T4. Uh, and, and we explain to them what is the process that we will take into account before we make any kind of decision. So there was uh, three steps discussed at first when the situation was not this worse. Uh, um, there was a recommendation by the Sports Authority of Thailand on how you should organize uh, sports activities, not only in football, but volleyball, basketball, everything uh, has to be organized in accordance to the so the guidelines set by the Sports Authority of Thailand. So that was like the level one. Yes. Like for example, if you attend the matches in the stadium, you will see um, maybe a, a medical personnel with the temperature reading scans at the gate. Like temperatures before entering yes. the crowd. Yes, correct. And, and like uh, gel. alcohol gel yes. and, and those kind of things. So that was like the first step. Uh, matches were still being played. Fans were still allowed in the stadium. So nothing much different from like uh, regular football matches but then came step two there was a um, message or uh, announcement from the government section that that um, uh, there's a risk of the virus being spread in thailand even more heavier than it is so uh, on last sunday uh, the president of the fat he called a meeting with the with all of the uh, executive of the leagues and the FA and they discussed with the clubs and said that all right it's too risky to play matches with fans in the stadium so I think the second step was to play behind closed door so 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 that was to avoid the matches being postponed yes but we had to postpone yeah. them so after that announcement I think some of the club were were with it and some were against it. Yes. Uh, playing against uh, matches with closed door is, is something that I don't think it's uh, personally it's uh, very beneficial for the clubs. Because the revenue from the football fans, right? Yes, the yes tickets. that's correct. Like um, uh, some Thai league clubs, they made like uh, easily 500, 700,000 baht for ticket attendance. Uh, even more so with the uh, merchandising sales and, and the match day revenues. So for them to be playing an uh, empty stadium, an empty stadium just for the sake of football, uh, maybe sometimes it's uh, it's not the best solution that, that the clubs who weekly run their business is, is really uh, keen on it. But also some of the clubs, they also uh, understood that this is uh, unprecedented times. Yes. We never faced any kind of this situation before and, and, and postponement of the leagues can have many uh, consequences uh, later on the year. So uh, I think at first everybody was kind of like, if it's really not serious, uh, maybe we can play behind closed door and see how it goes. Uh, but then come Monday, there was a special order from the uh, uh, a the cabinet Men's meeting, Ministry. yeah, yes. and it was signed by the Prime Minister of Thailand. Yes. So uh, there was a section in 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 one part of the announcement um, that specifically said uh, that the PM or the cabinet is asking all the government agencies, yes, and so on to uh, ask to seek cooperation from the private sectors. So. I think that includes Thai League as a company, yes. and 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 the question is that the order was that um, any public event, uh, such as sports, sporting events, 
concerts, uh, exhibition, meeting, conference, um, with gathering of a lot of people should be postponed. considered or uh, of postponed to a later period. So I think with this kind of uh, action from the government, there was not really much choice for the FA and, and, and the league to, to take. Um, I think the government knows very well what they're doing and, and how they're going to handle the situation. So, so when this order came coming from, from the government, I think uh, it's a matter of how we, we explain to the club and, and ask their opinion before we make the announcement. So uh, the announcement was made on Tuesday. Uh, and I think uh, all the club has been taking it, I think, positively. Yes. And I do understand that um, there may be some disagreement from the fans, that, uh, but I think in general, everybody is like um, understands yes. the importance of, of, uh, of postponement the league to a later date. Yes, uh, better safe than sorry, but there are also some questions also concerning about like the cups, the league cups and yeah. so they're going to be postponed or uh, what, how are we, we going to deal with that? So the decision was not only for the league, yes. uh, it's all football competitions that organize under the FA and the Thai League. Mm -hmm. So that includes T1, T2, T3, T4, FA Cup, League Cup. Thailand Amateur League, uh, even the Thailand Youth League itself also will, will be postponed or have already been postponed. Yes. So uh, I think everything is on pause at this moment until we, we will come back again after Songkran Festival to, to reassume our league. Yes. But of course, there will be another evaluation uh, meeting that's going to be conducted. Uh, at the end of March to mm -hmm. assess the, the situation or the scenario again, whether we can play the match as, uh, as newly scheduled or there is a need to postpone again, or the situation, thank, uh, hopefully it becomes better. We can yes. maybe move the league uh, quicker than we, we decided at the, in the first place. So, yeah, I think um, uh, everything is going to be postponed at least uh, 45 days for now and we'll see if there's a need to announce another 15 days so uh, it will total up to 60 day postponement in, in, in at the end or not so yeah. i think another decision will have to be taken at the end of the march um, and yeah so i think the pros and cons so maybe um, we can talk about a little bit more on the effect of this postponement what is being done in the league or, or, or the congestion of the schedule and, 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 and things like that. Yes. But how are you guys going to postpone the league? How will it affect like, the league in the long run? I think that's a, a question like a lot of fans want to know. Yes. Um, of how it, does the league is going to be played, where it will end, uh, whether it will affect any other competitions or even like I don't know even do we have to cancel anything or yeah. or do we have to like how, how are we going to play, be played out I think that's something that really uh, pe a lot of people wants to know so but to understand this decision I, I just want to um, maybe uh, give a little bit of fit uh, of the background information mm -hmm. um, about how or what kind of uh, criteria that we set uh, in order to design the, the calendar, like the whole calendar again, because uh, usually we, we start in February and then we finish in October, but now we have to like restart again in mid of April um, and then finish at the same time. So I think that's something that is really tough. Uh, but first, firstly, I think um, fans, uh, has to like maybe understand the way that the Thai clubs are running. Uh, usually the season in, in Thailand will start from February and end in October. Mm -hmm. So naturally uh, a club uh, signs player for that duration. There's not many many clubs that signs player with two, three years or even four year contract. Mm -hmm. Most of them are on a yearly basis. Um, and then since the calendar finished in October, 
most of them uh, will be released or renewed yes. the contract uh, in, in October, October. Yes. again. So, um, and uh, the season has already been started. That means like the player that is with the team right now has an ongoing contract that may expire in October. Yeah. So for the league to utilize uh, the two later months of the year, maybe that will create um, more negative impact or, or more problem than solving them. Yeah. So uh, the first thing that we thought, okay, we, we should not go into November or December at all. Uh, this is only talking about the contract situation and how the club is running, but let's not forget that uh, November we might have uh, two really important national team matches, which is the uh, the World Cup qualifiers against uh, UAE away, yes. and then Malaysia at home. Yes. So these two matches may be the decider whether Thailand will go to the next round for the World Cup qualification or not. And right at the end of it, the Suzuki Cup with the new format will, will be starting. Um, and, and the new format runs very long, so I think the dates are not really final yet, but it, it, it may start from 20 or 21st of November until very late December. So um, when we look at these two criteria, or, or, or the, the, the two really important um, uh, information uh, that has been said, uh, there's not much choice for the leagues to, to really uh, uh, expand or, or maybe delay it until uh, late, later than October. Mm -hmm. So the, the first for us was that, okay, we need to play this in October. and. The, uh, the secondly was that um, we need to take into consideration the new dates that um, AFC has postponed their matches mm -hmm. and as well as the new club competition that uh, will start this year for the first time which is the AFF club championship. Um, they also have to reschedule their matches and, and the new dates has to be taken into account. Um, uh, and the thing thirdly is that we do not want to uh, cancel any competition uh, unless it's, it's really, uh, really necessary. But as of now, we, uh, we think that we can play all the cups as originally uh, okay. scheduled, but uh, at a later date. So that means League Cup is still on, uh, FA Cup is still on, and, and let's not forget that this year, um, the winner of the FA Cup um, since Thailand uh, has uh, gained a new slot location in the AFC Champions League, that means the FA Cup winner will be playing in the group stage of the AFC Champions League next year. So to cancel it, I don't think it's a good move. And uh, League Cup also uh, will have an international uh, slot with the AFF Club Championship. So to cancel any of them have an impact not only on us, but also on the AFF and AFC and other uh, international bodies. So I think we, we, will, we will still play both of the cups and the league matches, but um, what we cannot avoid is that the, the schedule will be more congested. Yeah. So that means there will be um, a lot of more matches in a shorter period. But uh, what we are trying to do, and I think we can achieve it with the 45 days delay, is that we will uh, maintain the same number of the midweek games. Uh, that means at the, at the beginning of the, of the league in January, uh, we announced the fixture or, or the schedule with four midweek games. So that the same number will be applied when we design the new schedule. Uh, that means we will have two midweek games in the first leg and then two midweek games in the second leg. So we, would, we, we don't want uh, midweek matches where fans are um, hard to travel to the stadium or uh, the clubs also will be affected with the attendance number and everything. Yeah. So uh, I think these are the criteria that we, we set before we design the leagues. And um, uh, unfortunately, in order to accommodate this, that means we have to take up at least one of the FIFA windows. Uh, since we are not having matches in June, uh, tentatively there may not be matches in June for the World Cup qualifiers, then we may have to utilize that slot to play um, 
one of the league uh, match week and also the beginning of the league cup rounds like the playoff rounds and, and, oh, okay. and so on so i think that are the options that, that we are looking into it but of course this will not be announced until we we uh, get it uh, agreed between the clubs and the fa because at, at at the end of the day it's the club who is going to be uh, affected really heavily with the schedule whether they can play it or they think it's uh, too heavy then, then I think um, we need to have a, a round discussion with them to before we finalize it and, and really announce it. Uh, but we hope to do it uh, soon, at least uh, by this month. We should have a new uh, schedule yes. up for everyone and for the fans right. to follow. So, yeah, I think um, that's about it. Any <laughs> other question from the fans or? Well, um, no. no, I think that's it. So. Uh, thank you so much for your time today and I, I hopefully th maybe there'll be other questions when this podcast goes out and feel free to ask or mention Thai League and we'll try to answer the questions. Thank you so much Lorenzo right. for yep. your time and I'm Stephanie Adair, your host and thank you yeah. for listening and uh, catch you, so you much. next um, time. Uh, one for the closing yes. remarks, yes. I think... Um, for those who have already uh, purchased the tickets for the World Cup qualifiers in March, um, mm -hmm. should FIFA decide to postpone this match, uh, um, the FA and the, the FA competitions guys and the executive will come up with uh, a solution or an option uh, to redeem your tickets, or maybe you can use it uh, at, at the same match in October. So uh, please follow closely and we will make official announcement again once uh, FIFA has confirmed the postponement. Um, so yeah, thank you for having me today, and I'm happy to Very to happy. discuss any um, any other questions that the fans may have, and and, and uh, I believe that sharing is very important. So thank you for having me, and and it's a pleasure. So thank you. Yes, and thank you, and catch you guys next time, and goodbye.